we be um, wishing all the happiness in the world. You make a lovely couple. And uh, it's lovely to see Battle with you because she keeps you grounded. <laughs> <laughs> She'll beat you at Monopoly. <laughs> He's equally competitive. <laughs> Maybe more so, actually, from what yeah. I've heard. Um, Lottie earlier said, uh, love. What is love? Um, I don't want to go on like the, um, the American preacher in the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Beyond the night, love is this, love is that. Um, Lottie just says, love is kissy kissy marriage baby. <laughs> I'm sure Zoe's keeping her fingers crossed. It's a mini Bacchus and Robbie, <coughs> not too distant in the future. So, to toast the lovely bride and groom, Robbie and Lacker. into the inner sanctum of the bridesmaids and the bride's changing room, where I learnt some very telling information. <laughs> and gentlemen, you may use this as you wish, but I know there was some spandex or spanx failure going on a little bit earlier, and there is at least one bridesmaid wearing no knickers. <laughs> I wouldn't uh, mention any of the exploits on the stag weekend, but I think it would be amiss of me not to mention the five minutes that Robbie spent chatting up a six foot six transvestite. <laughs> There are 18 doctors in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Two vets and two dentists. So if anybody should be taken ill, we should be all right. I mean, it's bad news for them if somebody should peg out today, though, let's see. Anyway, um, look, inevitably on days like today, our, our, our thoughts turn to people who are also not with us. And I know um, that we've already mentioned uh, Robbie's dad, Kevin, and I'm sure he would have been delighted today to share in the joy that we uh, uh, are all having and uh, we'd have been delighted to have got to know him. And also my father Ken would have been absolutely bursting with pride today as he would have done on numerous occasions that's unfortunately he's, he's missed out on over the years because um, he and Becca did have a very special bond. He loved her very much. And she loved him very much. Um, it's amazing. Becca would race home uh, after school to my mum and dad's, and uh, within a nanosecond she'd be on granddad's lap. And uh, we, anyway, um, we remember them both today with fondness and sadness. So the years to them. Anyway, what can I say about Becca without seeming big-headed? Well, it's bloody hard because she is brilliant, let's face it. And uh, from as early as eight, she, w she knew she wanted to become a doctor and uh, she worked her socks off with purpose and dedication to achieve that goal and let nothing, absolutely nothing get in her way. at all because sense and sensibility, organisation and attention to detail is Becca and she has it in spade loads. So much so that she's not only trusted by us, by parents, but also by parents of friends who used to 
ring up about planned events or parties or trips away to UP or wherever uh, to inquire if Becca would be going. And if so, their children could go as well. <laughs> Mother Superior and Chair of the WI. <laughs> and look, just to give you some idea, and this is the benefit of being upstairs a bit earlier, just how prepared Becca is, that I know that this evening she will be ovulating. <laughs> So basically, even our openings are organised. <laughs> becoming a doctor, becoming a doctor has presented uh, Becca with so many opportunities and advantages, but the biggest of all of those was getting to do Robbie at med school. Now we all have great hopes and expectations of our children, and, and one of those expectations and hopes is that they married well. Well, all I can say is Ali and I could not have hoped for better um, in Robbie. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Robbie is, what can I say, he's kind, he's compassionate, he's helpful, he's thoughtful, caring and loving and endearing. And actually, all of this with just a hint of mischief. <laughs> which makes him all the more endearing. But like I can say, is that, um, we've known Robbie um, over the last few years and got to know him really well, and he, he's, he already feels a member of the family, but I'd like to take him, take this opportunity to welcome him to this, well, what can I say? <laughs> Sometimes chaotic, mad, loud, opinionated, crazy, loving, extended family. And even my dad approved of Robbie. It makes me make, makes a great deal to me and my wife here. <laughs> as already talked about, uh, there are, as we know, fa family and friends who cannot be with us. So, if my first toast would be to absent family and friends, please. Absent family and friends. So, my first dedication goes to Ali, and thank you for raising Becca. She's ultimately compassionate, um, selfless and loving. Uh, you and Lee were very welcoming from the onset, um, and thank you for your love and support over the years. Uh, we look forward for you to be with us ongoing, really, and I know you will be. <laughs> <laughs> um, to Nick, your kind words are heartfelt and you, it was very touching. Um, you and Claudia were, again, very welcoming, with great humour, plentiful red wine, which was, you know, <laughs> <laughs> um, and very generous and just lovely hearted, really. It just meant so much to us. Also, um, I'd like to thank Mum. Uh, we knew that her intensive home economic training would come into use. <laughs> All, most of the flower space you can see around was done by her, with a lot of effort, so thank you so much. But also, on behalf of Becca and I, I'd like to say a special thank you to Zoe, who's sat right next to me here. Um, I know Zoe that Becca has loved having you by her side, um, and that's you know, her, 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 
Um, you've always been brilliant and loyal um, and a great friend over the years and I know this will continue on. Um, so therefore, if everyone could be upstanding to toast me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 